Space-based umbrella to deflect the sun's rays. A man-made volcano. Artificial trees. Just some of the ideas that scientists at NASA and elsewhere are pursuing to combat climate change. Bracken Hendricks is the fellow at the Center for the American Progress, or Center for American Progress. He wrote the upcoming book, Apollo's Fire, Igniting America's Clean Energy Economy. Let's hope we've done it. Bracken, good to see you. It's good to see you. Thanks very much for having me. Pour Geritol into the ocean. I thought they were kidding. Well, they're actually talking about pouring iron, uh, very significant amounts of iron oxide to absorb uh, carbon from the atmosphere into the ocean as it oxidizes. Um, but or in, in the case of the sun shield that you mentioned, we're talking about uh, injecting massive trillions of reflective um, mirrors into the atmosphere to, to deflect some of the sun's rays and slow the warming of the atmosphere. Uh, these are pretty radical interventions in our, our global environment, and uh, it's, very, it's good that people are taking climate change seriously and looking seriously at the, the severity of the crisis that we may be facing. It's a, but clear, it sounds yeah. like the real problem is that the sun's rays are coming in, they hit the earth, and then normally a lot of them would bounce back. They go through the atmosphere, right? But, but a lot of this stuff that we emit here is getting caught in the atmosphere, and it's blocking those sun rays. So since you can't change that instantly, you want to change it coming down, right? Well, the theory is, I mean, what, what happens is we have an atmosphere which has worked for millions and millions of years to keep our um, environment at a very moderate temperature that's exactly the right conditions for for grow in. Yeah. Um, the problem with global warming is that we have heat trapping gases in the atmosphere that are reflecting more of the heat back down uh, in, onto the planet, which is causing gradually and, and increasingly rapidly the temperature to rise. You know, how, how concerning to you is it that there are a lot of people who, who are now screaming at the television and going, oh, there's always been cyclical climate changes. This is a bunch of hooey. But, but we know that's not true, right? I mean, how frustrating no, is it that some people will not believe it? Well, it's really, it's, it's the last refuge uh, of, for people to be skeptical at this point. The international, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is the largest assemblage of scientists that's ever been gathered on the planet. And they've uh, recently agreed that there's a 90% certainty that human actions are causing very substantial warming on the planet. They can have devastating consequences. We're talking about impacts like one to four billion people having uh, water shortages. We're talking about increasing malnutrition, more disease. Yeah. Uh, but the truth Orcus is... Orcus just says is we have to go, Bracken. I'm sorry. Thank you. Appreciate you coming. Thank you.